Are you done? Hey, what is happening guys? This is the Lightning Chat coming at you uh, with another video. So today we're going to be talking about something that is quite interesting actually. So a lot of people are curious about how Vincent is going to be within Final Fantasy VII Remake. And a lot of people have always speculated if Vincent Valentine is Sephiroth's father. Because of course Lucretia, I always forget how to pronounce her name, but um... Yeah, she is basically the mother technically of Sephiroth, but then Hojo did experiments on her, created the perfect soldier, and that's how Sephiroth was created. So today I'm going to actually be talking about Vincent Valentine and how the Zack Fair thing could lead to something of Vincent and Sephiroth being much more closer together. Now again, this is just a theory, nothing is confirmed. But, <laughs> considering my track record of calling stuff, especially with Zack Fair and this remake, <laughs> I might be onto something over here, <laughs> but yeah. So basically, uh, at the end of Final Fantasy VII Remake, we saw Zack Fair come to this world. Like, you could see the Aerith and Zack actually cross paths and all that. So, it led me to believe, like, the time... Like the time uh, lines actually twisted together or like co entwined. So, if that is a aspect that a lot of people are seeing because they think Zack Fair is now in this timeline, what if this is a timeline that the others went to where, yeah, Zack Fair is alive and all of that? But it leads to different stuff happening because Zack Fair is alive. There's this whole butterfly effect. That happens within Final Fantasy uh, 7 Remake most likely because everything uh, when you see with time travel or different dimensions there's always something different in that dimension and you know Vincent Valentine of course it's very weird because Sephiroth uh, by the by his Crisis Core Sephiroth is already a soldier one of the most respected soldiers and even in Final Fantasy 7 Remake in the original timeline uh, Vincent is not mentioned at all, mainly because I'm sure they're keeping him for the sequel. But, when we do get uh, Vincent Valentine, what is going to be his aspect with Sephiroth? Is he not gonna actually acknowledge Sephiroth as Lucretia's child? Now, that's the thing. Hojo did experiments both on Vincent after he got shot, as well as um, Sephiroth being a baby not born yet doing experiments on Lucretia and even Lucretia being crystallized within uh, behind a waterfall and all that you know it's very interesting stuff so what if the same experiments that were given to Sephiroth were the same to Vincent as I'm talking about in the remake so I remember the remake does their own stuff so yeah so if that is the case, right, of course Vincent is older than Sephiroth, um, and then there's this whole aspect of, oh, is Lucretia with Vincent's child? I don't know, really. But if you take into consideration how Sephiroth's personality and Vincent's personality mixes, you can see there's something there. And I know within the game itself, it said Hojo is the father, right? But, but what if in this timeline it is actually Vincent? Uh, because the personalities are so similar. Hojo is just a creep. Sephiroth is just... Sephiroth! And you can compare his personality so closely to that of Vincent Valentine. And I think that's possibly going to happen. It's really interesting, but... It's going to be interesting to see how Vincent reacts to Lucretia's child, Sephiroth. It could lead to Vincent actually uh, seeing Sephiroth and then Sephiroth of course uh, using his mind games showing the form of Lucretia and then Vincent is torn to either side with Cloud Strife and Gang 
or join Sephiroth, you know, or like just fight the gang. And that could actually be a possible aspect. What if we have to fight Vincent Valentine? Um, and once he's defeated, he becomes a party member or something like that. That'd be pretty cool if we go to the mansion. But, the thing with Vincent Valentine is that I feel that he's gonna realize a lot of stuff about Hojo. Lots about Sephiroth. Maybe even when we are within the Vincent Valentine time zone, we'll see Lucretia behind the waterfall. We, we might be able to go there. That'd be pretty cool. And I think that uh, if we do do that, Lucretia might save Sephiroth is her child and all of that stuff. And then Vincent might not even want to uh, fight anymore. Maybe he's just gonna feel that he's destroying the, the love of him and Lucretia, like what was meant to be their love, that is Sephiroth. And then Cloud Strife, and then they have to break him out of it. And then just Vincent basically being, well, Vincent. <laughs> but yeah, it's a very interesting topic because I feel a lot of people are talking about um, Vincent Valentine recently. I think that um, within this new timeline though, where Zack Fair's alive, a lot of stuff has changed. Like, what if Vincent isn't even dead at this point? Because if Zack Fair's alive... Vincent could be alive. I know that's weird because Vincent died way longer before Zack Fair did. It's just possible. Again, new timeline, new stuff. We don't know. So if Vincent is alive in this time zone, then he would know about Sephiroth. Maybe he'll even know the experiments uh, that was worked on within Shinra and all that. And then could find the cure. So it could be one of two things. We might see... Um, Vincent before he became Vincent, you know, while he was in the Turks and all that. Or, like, when he was in Shinra, uh, where he's basically, you know, doing experiments and stuff. Maybe he can help Cloud Strife that way. But I think Squanks will go to the route where Sephiroth and Vincent do fight it out. Like, uh, Vincent seeing images of Lucretia while they fight. Uh, Vincent not wanting to hurt Sephiroth because he feels like he'll be hurting Lucretia. And it's basically a story about Vincent Valentine trying to find himself. Is he going to try and save the world? Or is he going to let it burn because of a girl that he liked? And we all know the story with uh, Vincent Valentine and Lucretia. He loves her, but boy... Boy, does is that a tragic love story if there ever was one. But seriously though, Vincent Valentine, I think, is going to be a very important character when it comes to his, well, to that time of like the mansion and stuff. I feel that it'll be on the aspect of how uh, Cloud Strife and Tifa's relationship works. Like, maybe somewhere on that sense where Vincent is trying to find himself... Vincent doesn't want to hurt anybody, but at the same time, he can't let Sephiroth destroy the world, because if he destroys the world, Lucretia is there, and it's just a very interesting thing. I think, though, uh, with Sephiroth and all of that, Vincent might actually, you know, just join the lads, but there's going to be a fight first. Maybe he'll fight Roach, maybe, because, you know, just Vincent being Vincent. <laughs> but yeah, if he actually fights Roach, that'd be pretty cool. I think Vincent uh, will actually be considered Sephiroth's father. Well, maybe they'll hint towards it because I think Square has heard the rumors a wee bit. I think that if they, if it is like the entire father situation with Sephiroth, it's gonna play a very pinnacle uh, moment. Like, of course, it could all just be. A dream, not a dream, but just in uh, Vincent's mind because Sephiroth is painting these images that, yeah, you're my dad, but he's doing that to manipulate him, such as what he did with Barrett, where, you know, he uh, when he stabbed Barrett, that was, that was pretty cool with President Shinra and all that. I think that'd be pretty interesting. Though, where do I see this Vincent story going? I see this after probably Wu Tai. I see this after the mansion, of course, uh, well, during the mansion, and then you get to play as Vincent, and I think it goes all the way, like, maybe, not to the end, but just, just, uh, 
a lot further down. We go to different places. We, Vincent talks about how he went to this place. They have those moments where they just talk during like movements and uh, seriously though. <laughs> um, it's very interesting that Vincent is going to be a very important character when it comes to it because they cannot, I repeat, they cannot make Vincent a, a secret character <laughs> again. I think that uh, just like how I think with Yuffie, they are going to make their stories the main focal point of that installment of the remake. So like, if the next one is Wutai, it's gonna focus mainly on Yuffie. And then Yuffie is going to be like just the main focal point and then we get Yuffie, we might get Kate Sith when we go to Gold Saucer. I don't know what they're gonna do, but I think that they should focus a lot on the side characters and just the characters in general. Like how they did for the remake, we got to see Eric's mom, we got to see Tifa's background, we get to see Barrett and his beautiful fatherness and Cloud Strife is Cloud Strife, so <laughs> yeah. That's what I basically think is going to happen with uh, Vincent's story. So Vincent Valentine being one of my favorite characters within Final Fantasy VII, within Final Fantasy itself, I think Vincent is going to be a very big like piece to the Final Fantasy VII remake, mainly because of the lore of Shinra, of Sephiroth, of Lucretia, and maybe if we defeat um, Sephiroth or whatever. Of course, uh, I think that Vincent will be able to transform into different forms and fight, do different moves and all that. But imagine the summons that we could get within Remake Part 2. That'd be very interesting. Oh, whatever Vincent Valentine is in. But yeah, I think that'll be fantastic. Especially, I want to see his limit break. <laughs> I really want to see his limit break. That'd be fantastic. I know he's going to transform into monsters and I cannot wait to see the CGI effects on that on the PS5 that's gonna be mwah. but anyway guys that is my thoughts about what might happen with Vincent Valentine and his story I think that Vincent's going to be play a big role within one of the installments of the remake um, I think that they are going to touch upon the rumored is Vincent the dad but he's technically not but they had some experiments and Shinra, Lucretia, all of that, they might touch upon that. And you can't say I'm wrong because I call the Zack Fair stuff, alright? But, it's just a theory, it's just my thoughts, I don't, I don't say it's gonna happen, it's just a theory, disclaimer, rice, salt, pinch of salt, right? <laughs> Why is it rice? But yeah, just take it with a grain of salt, not pinch, alright? But yeah, guys. Leave a like, helps me out a lot, comment down in the comment section down below what you guys think. Share with friends, because sharing is current, and most importantly, subscribe to become a fellow Lightning Bolt. Anyway guys, that is it for this video, and as always, this is the Lightning Chait. Blaze out.